I'm sure we all love stickers, and I'm also sure that we all love making money from selling stickers. The problem is that not everyone has the skill to draw them. That's why in today's video, I'm showing you how to create awesome AI stickers with simple prompts. These prompts can be just a one-word prompts. Yes, it's that easy. Go to ChatGPT. For this one, you need the paid plan. If you want a free way to make stickers, I will put another video in the description that shows you how to do it. After selecting GPT-4, go to Explore GPT. In the search bar, type sticker Wiz. This is a plugin created by the owners of ChatGPT. Now you can start typing your prompt. My first prompt was a slice of pizza. The generations can take between 10 and 15 seconds. You can go to websites that sell stickers like Redbubble and get inspired. The second prompt I typed is a slice of pizza next to a full round pizza. If you click on the sticker, you can see the full prompt that ChatGPT developed from your simple prompt. I did a quick Google search on the type of pizza out there. First one I wanted to try is the Neapolitan pizza. Please tell me in the comments if it looks like the real one. Also, I tried the Chicago-style pizza, but the results, in my opinion, didn't look great. But that's all right if sticker whiz give us bad results sometimes because, in general, this plugin is better than any other tool when I did my research. The New York style of pizza looks good, but if there are some pizza experts watching this video, please tell me if the results are accurate. I tried other prompts like a burger, an ice cream cone. For the ice cream cone, I experienced an error while generating the AI sticker, but it continued generating and gave me this results. The donut sticker was the best one so far, and this is just using a one-word prompt. I also tried other dessert like cupcakes and popcorn, then went back to generate different food types. Tell me if I look more delicious than the hot dog sticker LOL. I was very excited to share with you this plugin, so I didn't have better ideas. In the next video, I will share with you more detailed prompts for upcoming events. Thanks for watching.